Welcome to the 68th edition of Spooky News from Spooky Ventures. I'm going to be talking about the new Blu-ray release of The Ghosts of Monday, which is a 2022 movie. And before I get into the actual review part here, there's a real-world thing that I should address. One of the stars of this film is Julian Sands. Now, I'm not sure if you've been following the news, but as of the time that I'm doing this video, which is a little, a little over two weeks before you're watching it, Sands has been missing for over two months. He went hiking in the mountains in California in February and has not been heard from since. I'm hoping that by the time this airs, he will have been found and has been safely brought back home. If not, my thoughts are with his family and friends and all of his fans. Looking to the movie, the premise here is that a small crew has moved into an abandoned hotel that's in the process of being renovated. The area is considered by the locals to be cursed and even haunted. Now those locals avoid it uh, like crazy. The crew are there to film a pilot for a new paranormal television show. And I like how they sort of poke fun at how some of these paranormal TV shows are sort of fake. And that's just a small piece of the movie, but I like that. Now this is going to be another review video where I need to do some spoilers at the end. For now I'm in spoiler free territory though, and I'll give you plenty of warning before I get into that stuff so you can shut it off ahead of time. The first thing that this movie has going for it is the location. The whole place just feels creepy. The filmmakers made great use of camera angles to intensify that aspect of it. Now, this is a very slow burn at the start, but it just feels so spooky. That atmosphere and vibe is definitely an asset to the movie. Now, there's a lot of mystery here, too. Some of that uh, revolves around a tapestry of hidden background binding some of the characters together. Now, some of it comes from flashbacks of a small girl who witnessed an event early, years earlier in which all the guests at the hotel were poisoned. Now, the juxtaposition of the more modern trappings of the hotel that are being done via the renovation with older relics fits the storyline so well. It really is symbolic of those past events haunting the present that I just talked about with a little bit with some of the characters. Now, without getting into spoiler zones, let me say that this movie is very dark. They managed to pull off some pretty brutal violence without using a lot of real gore. Um, there's a sense of menace and danger throughout the film. It just feels like something bad is going to happen. No movie is perfect though. This one feels a little flat at times in terms of the filmmaking itself. I'm not well enough versed in the nuances of making a movie to understand really what it is that's going on, but it feels a little like the difference between film and video. If, you're, if you know what that means when you watch it. Um, I also had some trouble understanding some of the dialogue. It's only, you know, a line here or there. Um, there are also instances where we see characters doing things that their injuries seem too serious to make possible. Those things are all pretty minor, though. They don't really take away from the movie that much. Now that brings us to the end of the spoiler-free part of this review. I'll just summarize by saying that the movie has a lot of surprises. It does a great job of setting a mood. There are plenty of mysteries and intriguing characters to keep you guessing at what is going to happen. I would also uh, add that there are not a lot of bonus features here, but as strong as the movie is, you really don't need bonus features. Now, if you don't want any spoilers, this is the time to click on out of this video. I'm going to give you a short little uh, window here so that you can get out of the video so you can avoid that. Now, this is your last chance to click out and avoid spoilers. If you're still here, I assume you're fine with knowing all the surprises of the film. This movie does start off with a real haunted house vibe, um, and that's pretty cool. It's slow burn and low key, but also so spooky. There are a number of twists, though. First, we get a turn into pure slasher territory for a little while. At that point, I thought maybe the movie wasn't supernatural at all. 
Pretty quickly, though, we get uh, glimpses of something that make it clear that there's definitely a creature feature aspect to the movie. That gets augmented by supernatural elements and the obvious involvement of a religious cult. None of that really prepared me for the final payoff, though. Ultimately, this twists into a full cosmic horror end-of-the-world type story. Those changes and sides to the tale come fairly quickly, one building on the other, and they really work so well and make this quite the experience. This is probably going to become one of my go-to horror films. It's just such a surprising treat. I'll leave you uh, and end the review with that point, and I will see you next time. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.